Dreams, my little angel. Oi, Goldilocks, did you use my toothbrush? <laughs> no. Somebody used it. I don't think it was Jacob. What makes you think someone used it? Because it was in the right slot facing to the right, I always keep it in the left slot facing to the left. Why would you do that? Because I'm a rigid, methodical person, and it comforts me. You're stranger than I thought. Now I have to sterilize this thing. I know what probably happened. I bet Chris used it by accident. <laughs> Why would Doogie be brushing his teeth in this house? Why do you think, Reed? Did he stay here? Did you sleep with him? You brain surgeons are smart. You shouldn't have done that, Katie. You really shouldn't have done that. Chris, Luke, don't you ever go home? You're here more than I am. I had a budget meeting about the new neural wing. Oh. How are you feeling? Fine. Why? Do you know why? No, actually, I don't. Look, I know what's going on with you. And I gotta tell you, you're putting Reed in an impossible position, and you've gotta stop right now. Sorry, what did you just say in the hallway about me and Reed? Look, Chris, I know. And if it came off as harsh out there, I'm sorry. What is it that you know? I know that you're sick. I know that there's a virus attacking your heart. Reed told me. He told me that you wanted to keep it a secret. He told you. Oh, that figures. Look, Chris, Reed and I are together. I could sense that something was wrong with him, and after a lot of pushing on my part, he finally told me what was going on. No, oh, so much for doctor-patient confidentiality. Reed's not your doctor, he's your colleague. Well, he had no right to tell you, boyfriend or not. Look, he's already done you a huge favor by going against his better judgment and treating you and keeping his mouth shut about it the whole time. Wait, y you know what? He's free to walk away anytime you like. In fact, I absolve him of all responsibility for my care because I don't need him anymore. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And who's gonna give you your antibiotic injections to make you better? Look, Chris, you've put Reed in a really impossible position, but it doesn't have to be like that. Really, then what do you suggest? I think that you should tell your family and friends about your condition and get the medical care you need. Why not? Your dad runs this hospital. He's a really good doctor. And your mom, if she knew that you were fighting this on your own, she would want to help you. I Katie. don't want them to worry. But they would want to worry about you, Chris. They love you. Let them help you. Okay, next time you give me advice, wait till I ask for it, okay? You did ask no, for it. Yes. You know, Reed told me that you were really stubborn about this. You know, here, you know, you want to help me? You want to help me? Then just forget everything you heard. Keep your mouth shut. Unless Reed, of course, is going all around town. No, no. He hasn't told anybody else, just me. Then let's keep it that way. Did you just tell me that I couldn't have Chris spend the night at my own house? Yeah, I did. In fact, I don't want you staying at his house either. Excuse me? Yeah, I don't want you getting this together at all. OK, you were the one that told me that I needed to get a life outside of being Jacob's mom. You were the one that told me to date again. Chris Hughes is not the right guy for you. Why? Because you don't like him? Because he's your rival for the chief of staff position? Among other things. Things like what? I don't want you to get hurt, Katie. I don't want to get hurt either, believe me. But that's the risk you take when you put yourself out there. Do you know how long it took me to get to the point where I could trust myself to fall in love with someone else again? And now you're trying to shoot me down? Why? Because I know how long it took you to get to that point. I want you to be cautious. Too late for that, because I am crazy about him. There are, are things that you don't know about him. Things like what? Things, you, the things. Everybody has secrets, Katie. Not Chris, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah, I'm just saying. What are you saying? You want me to be happy, but you want to get to choose the person that I'm happy with? It doesn't work that way. No, I, I'm saying that he... Fine. You want to be with that self-absorbed pediatrician? That's your problem. I don't. You tell him. Keep away from my dental devices. Hi. Hi. Everything OK? We were just talking about you. Oh? I was telling Reed that I adore you, and he better get used to it. What she said. Where's Jacob? 
He's napping. Well, at least I hope he still is. Mm. Chris is coming with Jacob and me to a preschool open house today. Mm. Kid's not even walking yet. She's got him checking out schools. <laughs> Don't you love how he indulges me? Mm. 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 I'll be a few minutes, OK? Mm. Oh, and FYI, you accidentally used Reed's toothbrush. He's not pleased. Why the hell did you tell Luke about me? Why did you sleep with her? What? I know that you slept with Katie. Why did you do it? Because I'm crazy about her. Not that it's any of your business. You're crazy about her, but no. you lied to her. What are you, I'm not contagious. No, you're just dishonest. Oh, okay. She's crazy about you, too. Last guy that she loved died on her. I live here. I've listened to her cry herself to sleep at night. How dare you right, make her fall for you and then do this to her? Will you listen to me? I've had this virus before, okay? I beat it. I'm protecting Katie and my family, all right? I do not want to worry them for no reason. You've beat it, huh? Yeah. That's why you keep upping the dosage of your antibiotic, because it's working so well for you? I'll answer it. You need a reality check, pal. Reed, I came to warn. And I guess I'm too late. Sorry. This is all my fault. Look, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry, but we're both worried about you. And you put Reed in a really terrible position by insisting that he keep quiet about this. So you keep saying, look, you don't have to worry about me, OK? You could just walk away. As if I could do that at this point. Will you at least just keep your mouth shut? Or other people are going to hear you and worry about me for no reason. No reason? Yes. You have a viral infection that is causing your heart to deteriorate. Every minute you don't act, your heart gets weaker. All right, first of all, you, we don't know that my heart has been damaged, OK? So let's stop right there. Chest pains, dizziness, shortness of breath, these are generally accepted to be pretty good clues. But yeah, you're right. We don't know if there's been damage because you refuse to have any tests done. You need to have a cardiologist to... Jacob was awake just long enough to get dressed, and he socked out. Mm. This is for you. I found it in my travel case. So you have nothing to argue about, right? Right. Reed. Hi, Luke. Hi. What's it like out? Uh, hot and humid. It's bad weather for anybody who's not well, especially people with um, heart disease. Well, it's lucky we're all young and fit, hmm? Ready? See ya. She's falling in love with him, and she could end up losing him. If I ever doubted the downside of love, I'm seeing it now. This whole people caring about people business, it's insane. It's no wonder I've tried to avoid it. Well, it has its good points, too. Well, it seems like the greater you care about something, the greater chance you have of getting hurt, even losing the very thing that you care about. That's true. How do you live with that? Well, you're just grateful that you have that in your life for as long as you have it, even if it is just a short while. A short while? No, no. No way, I'm not willing to invest so much to get so little in return. I want the whole enchilada, you hear me? Meaning? Meaning you better take care of that kidney of yours. If I'm gonna put myself out there, fall in love with you, I am not going to lose you, do you hear me? You planning on falling in love with me? No, of course not, I'm not planning on falling, no, it's not something you plan on, it just, it happens, you're, you're powerless to stop it. it... Oh, God, listen to me. Never been powerless. <laughs> I've always been in complete control of everything in my life. Aww. Are you okay? You? Mm hmm. Yeah, this is probably the wrong place and time. <laughs> Let me guess, you prefer candlelight and soft music? I just need a bed and some privacy. Yeah, I really need to get to work. We definitely don't want to be rushed. To be continued? To be continued.